GM and welcome back to the channel. In this video, taking a look at Pancake Swap with their V3 update. So Pancake Swap V3 is now live as of yesterday, the 3rd of April 2023. What does this mean? What are the benefits and how do you add liquidity to this project now? We're going to go through all these details in this video. So if you're new here, make sure you subscribe to the channel. So the headline here, PancakeSwap DEX launches version 3 on the BNB chain and Ethereum, of course, it is deployed on ETH as well as the BSC network. So this is super interesting. What we've had here is Uniswap, their V3 license. They had a business license, pretty much stopping anyone from legally forking their code and taking it before the date of the 1st of April 2023. That has now expired. The license is no longer preventing teams from forking this code. It is superior tech to what the other DEXs had launched. And so therefore we get these DEXs now taking the Uniswap V3 code and implementing it for themselves. So this of course is a big change. PancakeSwap, one of the largest DEXs out there trying to rival Uniswap while they've now got the same tech behind it. So this is the update. So within their new documentation, they posted this just yesterday. We'll go through the highlights that I've managed to really decipher as the main bits. So Pancake V3 offers the lowest fees in the industry for traders. They've reduced trading fees. The previous baseline for trading fees was 0.25%. There's now a different set of tiers for various cryptos. So we'll go through that in just a second. They say they've also increased fee returns for liquidity providers and new tools that make the user experience even more seamless and user friendly. So let's break down what this all means. So first and foremost, they have just spot trading on PancakeSwap, as you probably know by now, but they also have a leveraged exchange as well. Now, the main highlights they point to here are on the spot trading side of things, up to 25x lower trading fees for traders compared to V2. So previous baseline 0.25% was the trading fee. Now it can go as low as 0.01%, which is obviously a 25th, but that would be for stable pairing. So that obviously makes their stable coin conversions between different stables a lot more competitive there. Definitely a plus point, but we'll go through the other parameters in just a moment. They also say many times more fee earning with the same amount of deposit for liquidity providers. This is due to the capital efficiency of liquidity management on this V3 code base. But I would asterisk here, this is not so much normie friendly anymore as you really do need to actively manage your liquidity positions. We'll go through that in just a moment and up to 4,000 X higher capital efficiency. And so this means you can potentially make more profits, but you do need to know exactly what you're doing. And then in the dark blue position manager feature is coming soon. I'll speculate on that one in just a sec. So one of the key aspects here, V2 liquidity providers, their LPs were distributed along an entire price curve from zero to infinity, which is capital inefficient. So this means if I'm providing liquidity for a particular pair, I'm providing liquidity along the whole curve at any price point. But with this V3 update, as Uniswap cleverly came to the determination, you should be able to provide liquidity just within specific parameters. So say the BNB token trades typically around 300 bucks, provide liquidity from say 290 bucks to 310 bucks, you're gonna capture a lot more efficiency within that band. And then it goes without saying, providing liquidity above say $1.02 for a stablecoin pair doesn't make much sense. So this is the update here. They also say with V3 liquidity providers can now concentrate their capital. So this is what you can do. In terms of a trading pairs, the fee tiers are 0.01% for stables. For tokens that have less impermanent loss typically, i.e. they don't move too far away from a typical trading range, the fee is 0.05%, then the standard 0.25%, and then there's a 1% fee tier as well. So more exotic assets, the LP providers for that are obviously taking a lot more risk, higher chance of impermanent loss, and so there's a 1% fee for those. Those would be very much your shit coins in that band over there. The building limit orders, these are coming soon. Of course, limit orders were a part of V2. They're gonna make something specialized for V3 here. And then further down, we also have this. They have displays for your APRs, your ROI calculators, that kind of stuff. So when you're adding liquidity, you can get a feel for what kind of APR you can expect for said assets for providing those liquidity pairs. 
However, that data is so new now with this only being live over the last day that it doesn't really give a good picture. So I'll jump into that in the little tutorial piece in just a moment. Then this one was a highlight as well, active liquidity farming. So V3 introduces active liquidity farming. Farms only reward cake to active liquidity positions whose current price falls within their price range configurations. With the same amount of underlying tokens, positions with a smaller price range, i.e. more concentrated, will have higher relative share against the whole farm pool and will be rewarded more cake. This encourages liquidity concentration around specific price points. So the cake rewards to LPs are only going to the LPs providing liquidity that's currently being hit within that range. So if you've got an LP position, it's outside the range, say I'm supplying BNB USD liquidity at like $350 and the price is not there, you're getting no cake rewards, but the guys who have got their liquidity in position are getting all the cake rewards. So that is how you can make a lot more money with active liquidity management. There's also a note in here about the VIP offering. You may want to check that one out in terms of you have to have a NFT profile and also some cake in your wallet. No specifics on this as yet, but if you're into the kind of VIP offerings, this one is interesting. And then the position manager, this is coming soon. PancakeSwap will introduce automatic position management features with one-click deposit. So this, I think, will be a tool that they won't supply themselves, but they will outsource. So at the end of this video, we're going to go through two protocols that do this professionally and could be winners of this war over on PancakeSwap. In all likelihood, a lot of different fingers will be in this pie and a lot of different liquidity managers will be utilizing this, but it will be super interesting if one gets the nod from PancakeSwap and they say, look, this is our official position manager. So let's start here on PancakeSwap on the syrup pools. There's no real change to the syrup pools, which is good for anyone who's got their cake staked, especially for a long time. You didn't want to have a headache of, you know, they're deprecating this or anything. That is not happening. So no significant changes to the syrup pools. They confirm that in the blog post and over on Twitter. They tweeted this please note that no migration is needed for the staking in the cake pool or syrup pools so happy days if you are a cake holder staker and you're in these syrup pools nothing to worry about it's the farming page so when you come to farms it's going to talk about panky swap v3 migration so you will need to take your v2 positions unstake them remove your liquidity and then add it to the v3 positions they've got a guide and it's actually a button here to click proceed and it will take you through step by step how to do it and it's on this page here a quick simple one two three four five six step process shouldn't be too much bother but if you've got lp positions on pancake swap right now and you haven't migrated to v3 you want to shift them over asap and have a real think about where you're going to add that liquidity that's going to be super important to you making that roi those apr percentages right so within the farms here we're going to do a little quick run through we're going to go to cake and bnb lp for v3 here and click the add liquidity button so the major changes you can see here is the parameters so this is showing you the price of cake to BNB or BNB to cake, you can change the ratio, whatever is easiest for you to think about. And you can see that this is in the 0.25% fee tier. So as standard, I would just leave it as their default setting. That makes a lot of sense. You don't want to obviously lower the fees because this is going to be the default for most people. But then you want to put in the amount of BNB and cake you want to deposit and then move about the sliders here, which is the price ranges. So currently the ratio is 83 cake per BNB token. So for every one BNB, it's worth 83 cake. Within what kind of price range do you want to add liquidity? So maybe you want to do somewhere with like 10% either side so this would now be a minimum price of 75 cake per bnb and a maximum price of 92 it says just behind my head there there is this button up here then the calculator so this is where they're talking about advanced roi stats so this is where you could put in your actual position amount so say you've got a thousand bucks to put in you would put in one thousand dollars it's going to then tell you how many bnb and cake is this going to get you right now and then you can determine how long you'll want to stake these for. And then you can also select a compounding strategy as well. So this would mean taking your rewards and then re-putting them back into the position yet again. This is manual compounding. This is not an automated strategy on there, but it's just giving you a bit of a heads up of what can be done. 
And then if you go down here, of course, you could move the price ranges like we just did on the previous screen. And then if you just go down even further here, you can see where this has traded over the last 24 hours in what kind of range. It's between like 83.4 cake to 84 cake, say, per BNB token. And then if we just go down there, it's got an ROI. But you can see from that the ROI just 0.09% currently. But the fact that this hasn't been up for very long, I would not believe these stats as of yet. So this gives us a bit of an overview of what we can do and what we can select. But the main thing you want to ensure is that for whatever asset you're providing liquidity for, it's actually trading within your LP range. The issue is impermanent loss here. So if it trades outside of your range, what that's gonna do, you've got cake and BNB. If BNB starts going up to the moon, but cake stays still, it's gonna essentially sell off all your BNB in that position and leave you with more and more cake. And as it exits your position boundaries, i.e. say it's up to here, like 102 cake per BNB, it's currently set on there. As it passes that threshold, you are only then left with cake tokens. It's sold all your BNB. And so impermanent loss will take place so this is where you need to be mindful of the assets you're providing liquidity for and you will need to actively monitor these positions and potentially readjust as price moves to the edges of your thresholds that is a basic understanding of how to do this and how to utilize these calculators and a bit of a heads up that you're going to have to actively manage this and it's not really for just average joe to start aping in and providing liquidity without some real thought so once you've added your liquidity it will then show up here it'll show you what you're earning the average apr right now is about 8.8 percent .8 based on who is currently in the pool we can see all the liquidity in there and the multiplier amounts that obviously adding more cake emissions to this specific lp pairing so overall increased capital efficiency this is very good for traders but a bit more tricky for lp providers and so what we've seen in the first 24 hours here for PancakeSwap with the V3 AMM is that about $18 million of TVL has migrated so far. So a lot more to come over. They have over $1 billion worth of TVL that will need to shift here. Then in terms of those liquidity managers, the potential beneficiaries to this are going to be Gamma Strategies and also Arrakis here. Arrakis not yet with a token release, but I hear on the grapevine there is a token coming soon. These guys are big in this industry, as to our Gamma. These definitely are duking it out as the number one liquidity manager specialist in the industry now, and Gamma are making a lot of partnerships as of late. So definitely have a keen eye on these, as more and more people will use these liquidity managers as it really is a professional's game at this point. More TVL for these protocols means higher revenues for them. The Gamma token is stakeable. The revenues are pumped into buying more Gamma on the open market and then delivering it to the stakers and so that is obviously going to be a beneficiary of tvl going up and similarly if arrakis brings out the token very soon they'll probably have a staking model as well to give that real yield so if you see any of these two partnering officially with pancake swap this will be bullish for those protocols and over time we're going to see pancake swap migrate more and more tvl over to v3 you're going to have better capital efficiency on there you're going to have some real shrewd market makers adding liquidity to this project now and i think that overall this will benefit professionals over normie investors good for the business model of pancake swap but i would suggest the times of lping blindly on pancake swap are probably over for the vast majority now so do make sure you do your own research into providing liquidity if that is something that interests you if not not just play ball enjoy pancake swap experience likely to get better here and we're going to see more and more of these changes the v3 code base of uniswap being forked by everybody and their dog and so expect more storylines coming like this over the coming weeks i hope you enjoyed this one if you did smash a like on the video comment down below guys check it out with the link down below and i'll see you again in my next one peace crypto tube and sharpening skills in this market ready for the bull run Yes!